want to teach you how to solve a problem here which is coming from two different topics one which is involving trigonometry because we are going to compute angles here and also computing the area of this shaded region and uh, we will use the two concepts here first of all we shall need to have uh, prerequisite knowledge from cosine rule and sine rule so let's get started so if you look at this figure here we have a triangle which is circumscribed by a circle and the sides are given pq is 7.8 pr is 6.6 .6 centimeters and qr is equals to 5.9 centimeters so the first question reads find the radius of the circle correct to one decimal place so solution we know that sine rule says sine of a over a is equals to sine of angle b over small b is equals to sine of c over length c is equals to 2r so this radius is the radius of the circle that is circumscribing the triangle so we are going to determine uh, one of the angles here and we are going to use cosine rule so we know cosine rule says that if you have a squared is equals to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of a so let's designate this angle as a so we are going to have uh, length 5.9 squared is equals to b can be 6.6 .6 squared plus 7.8 squared minus 2 into 6.6 .6 times 7.8 the cosine of the angle in question so when we substitute here in our calculator we're going to compute and subtract 6.6 .6 squared and 7.8 squared from the square of 5.9 and we're going to have negative 69.59 all equal to 2 times 6.6 .6 times 7.8 that is negative 2 negative 102 0.96 cosine of a okay the negative sign appears on both sides so we can cancel that and so cosine of a is going to be equal to 69.59 divided by 102 and we're going to have 0 0.6759 so a is the cosine inverse of 0 0.6759 okay. so that gives me an angle of 47.48 degrees so this angle here is 47.48 that's the only angle we need so that we can solve uh, the value of the radius so we take the sine of the angle so we can take a as uh, 5.9 over sine of the angle 47.48 and we see that is twice the radius so if you divide by two both sides you come here and get the value of the radius so we divide by 2 after taking 5.9 divide by sine of the answer you get that divide by 2 and the radius is going to be equal to 4.0 centimeters the first part is sorted now when you're told to calculate the angles of the triangle you already have one angle so we need one more and we subtract the sum of the rest from one later and get the other one okay so we know first angle a is 47.48 so the other angle we can still use cosine rule or we can use sine rule because it's the easiest here so let's say we take um, 7.8 over sine of the angle here we call this one b is the same as twice the radius of course that's 8 so sine of b is equal to 7.8 over 8 and so b is sine inverse of 7.8 7.8 divided by 8 so you get sine inverse of 0 0.975 and so when you get the sine inverse we're going to get 77.16 that's the angle b so it means that the other angle c this one so angle C is going to be equal to 180 minus the sum of the first two computed angles that is 47.48 and 77.16 and so the angle 
here it's going to be equal to let's first for sum these two that is 47.48 plus 77.16 and then we subtract from 180 and we get the angle C as 55.36 degrees so these are the three angles we are required to compute in part B okay we are almost there so find the area of the shaded region now to determine the area of the shaded region we will get the area of a circle then subtract the area of a triangle by so doing, we shall have computed the area of the shaded region. So area of the shaded region is equal to area of a circle minus the area of a triangle. So to compute the area of a triangle, we can use, there are several methods we can use, but I bet to use um, a half AB sine of theta for convenience. So in this case, I want to use length PQ and PR and angle A. So the area is going to be equal to a half times 7.8 times 6.6 .6 times sine of the angle that is A, which you computed here, 47.48. And so the area of a triangle here gives us 0 0.5 times 7.8 times 6.6 .6 times sine of 47.48 and that gives me 18.97 centimeters square all right now we are almost there we see area of a circle is given by pi r square now because we computed the radius of a circle so taking pi as 22 over 7 times the radius as 4 then we square that so the area of a circle will be 22 over 7 times 4 square and that's that so we have in decimal form 50.29 centimeters square so to get the area of the shaded region as we had indicated here it is going to be 50.29 minus the area of a triangle which is 18.97 and that gives me an answer corresponding to 18.97 so we have that is 31.32 centimeters square so let us make a recap of what we are supposed to do. So one thing, you need to read the question carefully and then you determine the area of the shaded region here. And you notice that the shaded region is uh, composed within a circle where the circle here is inscribing a triangle. So you need to use cosine rule and sine rule in order for you to determine the angles. And once you get those angles, you can use them to determine the area of the shaded region. The most important thing is to know that without the knowledge of the first two uh, concepts, that is the sine rule and uh, cosine rule, you can't approach that problem using this formula here. So it doesn't mean that the area of a triangle can be computed using a half AB sine theta. You can also use Heron's formula. And that is what will give you an area of that 1.32 if you compute carefully. Thank you.